New smart home technology makes it possible to turn on the lights, mow the lawn, clean up with a swipe of your phone. And the number of American households using the technology is expected to jump from about four and a half million to more than 24 million in 2020. Wow. CNET Magazine's spring issue takes a look at the secrets of a smart home. Lindsay Turrentine is editor-in-chief with our partners at CNET and joins us at the table. So you're already working on a home in Louisville, Kentucky, transforming it all over the place. It's a 5,800 square foot Ooh, gorgeous that's a good home. home. It's, it's a big home. It's big, and we're outfitting it with everything we can find. And it's a great experiment because we are using it as a living lab. We bring all the technology in, we make it work together, and we're excited because I think you're going to be with us in April to see the reveal. Are, are people living there, 5,800 square feet? That's a people pretty People are working house. there. They're okay. in and out. Not yeah. living there, but they're every day trying out the tech. And the net result of this is to do what? The net result is to find out how you can integrate smart home technology in your life in a way that's not overwhelming or confusing because right now the market is so new. It's kind of like computers yeah. 20 years ago when it was really hard to make one device talk to the other. The smart home is in that place right now. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to figure out the best advice for getting the technology that will work for you. I think this is brilliant. I know Thank we all you. want a little bit of a smarter home. And I know you brought some of the smart technology mm -hmm. with you. What are some of the best ideas out there? Well, we, we love this. Um, this light bulb is really clever. It's called the Beyond Bulb. And it has a battery. So oh. you can actually take this battery pack out. Whoa. Put it in. Look, the light bulb will turn on mm -hmm. on its own. And, you know, it's a security feature. So if the power goes out, your light bulb can come on and light the path, sort of like exit lighting in a plane, oh, without having to be plugged in. But it also learns your patterns so that if you turn on the light, let's say, every night at 7 o'clock and keep it on until 10, and then you go on a trip, you can actually use the app to say, hey, reproduce my lighting patterns while I'm not there. And is or, it connected to the doorbell so if somebody rings the doorbell, <laughs> the light comes on? Yes, I you can really train like it that. to hear your doorbell or your alarm system. So if somebody comes to the door or something happens, uh -huh. it'll turn on. It's a great, it's a really interesting security feature. And so, what about the Nest camera? So Nest Camera, it used to be called Drop Cam, is what we think is the, it's the simplest security camera and you can install it yourself. It's $200. It's really easy to install for anybody. Yeah, you get, sure, Lindsay. It, it, yeah. it really I love that. It's really easy is. to install and then you're sitting there with all those friggin' pieces and it's not so damn easy. <laughs> well, you it can has, find somebody to help you. Well, that's what I would do. Exactly. I tell you I what, you. after I come over to your kitchen <laughs> yes. and help you cook, we'll, do, yeah. we'll work on the technology. Yeah, but I love when people say it's really easy. Anybody can do this it. This one installs with a magnet so you okay. can actually just I'm stick it to like your fridge. Yeah. Okay. You even need a screwdriver. All right. That's oh, you're, we're seeing the S cam okay, right now. Yes, there's one in the studio. So what's really far out? I mean, what, what's going to surprise us in this home? There, you would be surprised what's on the horizon. There's, there's stuff coming, like I was just telling Gail, a refrigerator is coming out this spring that has a camera inside so that you can be at the grocery store and see what's in your fridge or how dirty it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've got things like robot lawn mowers. Yeah, we saw, what was that coming. thing in the green room that was rolling around on the floor? That, that is thing. the Neato Bot Vac. It's mm -hmm. our favorite robot <laughs> vacuum cleaner. And robot vacuum cleaners have been around for a long time. It's not really new, but what's new is that these are connected to the internet now. Mm -hmm. So you can drive them with an app. Mm -hmm. You can play with them from anywhere. Uh, this one is our favorite. It's $700, so it's this about $200 cheaper Whoa. than everything else. That's I, I, I was in France this summer, and there was, we had, somebody had like five of these robot light things uh, cutting the lawn. And yes. they're just moving of their own initiative. Really? Yeah. yeah they are, so robot lawnmowers like are interesting. It's a great idea. Mm -hmm. They still cost three, four, five times more than a regular lawnmower mm -hmm. uh, and you have to train them and they start at about a thousand dollars we don't think they're quite there yet for most people but you, but you don't have to be or you could just get out there and mow the lawn oh, too but Lindsay, there. if i'm sitting at home and i'm thinking i want some kind of smart something there's a lawnmower on the screen and i want to do something smart in my house what do you recommend i, I recommend starting small figure out what the problem is that you want to solve so let's say you hate digging for your keys yeah. you might want to install a smart lock so that you can just walk up to your door and, and it's open mm -hmm. when you're in range or if you're worried about security you might want something like a simple security camera or one of these light bulbs that turns on when the doorbell rings think of the problem that you want to solve so and start on, there yeah one focus thing on something that bothers you absolutely and there's one thing a fix a for it okay all aiming towards more efficiency which is what will happen to like you know, energy efficiency when we have the, you know, the temperature control remote, which yeah. you can do, I think, which is better. Yeah. Absolutely. Saving electricity. Lindsay Turrentine, always great Thank to you. see you. Thank you so much. Great issue, bright ideas, and we're excited about the reveal. We want to go to the Smart House. April. You're welcome in our homes anytime.